The FBI calls him the froggy robber, and he struck again. This is Coin 6 News at 5. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. The serial bank robber is considered armed and dangerous. Today, he threatened employees at a U.S. bank in Scapoos, even putting a nearby school in lockdown. Let's go to our Amy Frazier, who's live there in Scapoos, with the latest in this crime alert. Amy? Jennifer, the FBI tells me this robber, this serial robber, has now hit five different banks. The latest one happened at this bank right behind me here. Luckily, no one inside was hurt, but it was pretty scary for employees inside and the middle school right next door. Well, it's a little scary. This is a photograph from the FBI of the armed and dangerous man they've dubbed the Froggy Robber. At about 9.45 a.m., he entered the U.S. Bank in Scampoos. He jumped over the counter and threatened employees with a knife before grabbing cash and taking off. There's a tax office right next door. Well, close, close. I mean, I can see the drive up window from, from here. And Eloise Bates was working when it happened. I locked the doors and pulled all the shades and turned most of the lights off so he wouldn't know I was in here all by myself. Police put Scampoos Middle School into lockdown and other schools into lockout. Officers used police dogs to search for the suspect. Well, we just, if anybody sees anything, you know, out of the ordinary, we want you to call in and we'll go check it out. Neighbors watched for anything suspicious, but the suspect was nowhere to be found. Out, out of here ways, there's a lot, of, you know, a lot of places you could go, but right in here close. There's just too many people. The froggy robber has seemingly disappeared again. Since October, the FBI says he's robbed banks in Canby, Portland, Wilsonville, and Beaverton. He's described as a Hispanic man, 20 to 40 years old, 5 foot 3 to 5'5, five five, and about 160 pounds. Today, he was wearing blue pants with a blue hoodie and black shoes. The FBI is offering up to a $10,000 reward for information that leads to his arrest. Arrest and conviction. And back here live, the Scampo School District took some extra safety precautions today. Students that normally walk home had to be picked up, and all after school activities for tonight are canceled. Police say if you know where the suspect is or you see something suspicious, call 911. Reporting live in Scampo, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.